I'm Dr. Rowan Kimber. I'm a plant pathologist with the South Australian Research and Development Institute based at uh, The Weight in, uh, in Adelaide. Yes, um, particularly in, uh, in chickpeas, lentils, faba beans, we're seeing uh, quite some interesting dynamics with uh, the change in ascochyta. Uh, uh, the ascochyta disease is uh, different, to, it's a species specific to each one of those crops, but uh, some similar things have been happening in each of those crops with a, a shift in, uh, in virulence and, and aggressiveness in, in, uh, across some of the new resistant cultivars. So with chickpeas, um, we're looking at uh, a bit of a change in Genesis 90. It, uh, Genesis 90 is a resistant variety, it's come out a few years ago and, and um, it's a quite a popular, widely grown variety. What we're seeing is that um, uh, just incremental changes in ascochyta in, in those uh, in, in commercial crops as well as in research trials where we're seeing uh, a greater incidence of leaf lesions and now even a, an increased incidence in stem lesions in Genesis 90. This in itself is pretty concerning because um, it's a resistant variety and so what it's showing is that the population of ascochyta is starting to change and uh, is starting to compromise this resistance and, and causing an, an increased incidence and in disease in a commercial sense. Um, in areas where we've seen, where growers or consultants have se already seen a shift in this ascochyta um, uh, incidence in Genesis 90 last year, then probably really what's going to have to happen is a continual monitoring there and actually be proactive in applying a fungicide application at the early vegetative phase when we'd normally see the ascochyta start to uh, uh, appear. So um, more or less uh, anticipate that uh, uh, increased incidence of, of disease and, and counter it with fungicide application. But in other areas where it hasn't yet been observed, um, particularly monitor the Genesis 90 crops. Just look for disease, see if we are if they are starting to see ascochyta lesions on on leaves and and on stems. And if the, the first sign of disease, then look to put a fungicide um, uh, out during that period. And and uh, and and probably then later, as uh, as the monitoring continues. Uh, and if rain fronts continue, the, the most imperative thing on, on either one of those scenarios is to put uh, a fungicide spray out at potting because regardless of a resistance strategy at a vegetative phase of, of say Genesis 90, these varieties are actually susceptible to potting phase. So it's still important in the presence of disease to get a fungicide strategy out then. Um, really, the, the key to man managing these diseases are, is very much um, being uh, proactive in, uh, in both monitoring, so obviously looking for the first signs of disease as a, as a, a means to sort of trigger your management plan, but, but also being prepared. Uh, in my experience, uh, growers that have had the best um, outcomes with uh, managing these, these diseases are those that are uh, actually quite proactive. They, they get out in front, they use the, the fungicides which are obviously predominantly prophylactic and they actually manage from uh, the front foot rather than chase the disease and trying to pull it up. And uh, in many instances where they are, they are trying to uh, chase the disease after the, uh, you know, it's already become established at a reasonable level, it's a, it's a lot more difficult and, and often it can also, uh, in uh, particularly wet springs, be uh, almost uh, unsustainable and, and fruitless at the, later on in the season when the disease is just gaining more and more momentum. In many instances, the cultivar selection in these uh, these pulse crops are, are quite um, are quite key. And what some of the cultivars, say for instance in faba beans, you'll have uh, PBA uh, Samira, which appears to be resistant to both these uh, changes in in anascochyta to what's known as the you know, pathotype one and pathotype two. So they're 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 ones which are somewhat uh, exempt from uh, the changes and what might occur in at least in the short term, unless we see another shift. Whereas, uh, say for instance, PBA Rana, which is resistant to the old pathotype, is uh, partially compromised by the new one. So really growers and consultants should just be aware that uh, different cultivars bring with them um, sort of different resistances to these, to these shifts and, and the literature that's available is regularly updated. Just keep an eye on that um, through the appropriate websites and, and literature and then they should be able to use informed decisions for that.